Hi everyone, welcome back to our class. As you can see over here, this is the final coloring of our warm and cool colors in our painting of a fish. As you can see over here, uh, we have our warm colors that are red, orange, and yellow. We follow the pattern that's, again, red, orange, and yellow, and so on. And we have our cool colors that are blue, violet, and green. So, let's just refresh a little bit on uh, what warm colors are and what cool colors are. Warm colors are all the colors that make you feel warmth, like the sun, like a light, like uh, fire. It also, it, it also invites you to happiness, excitement, while cool colors represent cold. When you see these colors over here, you don't remember a sun or you don't remember a day at the beach. You can remember something that's probably nighttime or it's winter or it's really peaceful. So that's how our colors work. That's how our warm colors transmit some kind of uh, ideas into your head and the cool colors give you that sense of serenity, calm, cold, even lonely, right? So um, let's continue a little bit how we get these colors. You can see right here in the color wheel that we had last time that all this area over here, all the greens, all the blues, and all the violets go all the way to what cold colors are. Meanwhile, yellow, orange, and red are warm colors. And if we have some kind of a violet that comes to the reddish side, then it will be more warm than cold. Okay? So always have your, your, wheel, your color wheel in hand. This is gonna help you so much for your projects. Today we're not gonna do um, homework. I'm not giving you homework today, but I'm gonna give you some printables that you can use to practice. Okay? I would really like you to practice on your painting. I want you to have even coloring and not going past your lines from one image to another. That's something I'm going to be um, considering for our next, next assignment. Well, actually, it's not going to be an assignment. Next class, we're going to have a little quiz. We already practiced a little bit what warm and cool colors are. And now I need you for real to do it on your own. So I'm going to ask you guys to practice at home all the significant significance of what warm colors are and what cool colors are so remember warm colors are all the things that represent you warmth it can be um, happiness it could be excitement you can relate it to the sun you can relate it to fire you can relate it to heat and on the other hand or in happiness too and on the other hand you can relate cool colors into what is cold winter, for, for example. You can do it with uh, uh, calm, to be calm. You can also do loneliness, and you can have like winter. So guys, um, please practice. I'm gonna send you Evo also the tutorials of um, what warm and cool colors are. Please practice them. Remember which ones are warm and which ones are cool, okay? So next class, we're gonna be having a quiz. The printables that I'm, I'm going to uh, send you are for you to practice. I want you to practice painting. You can do it with markers. You can do it with temperas. You can do both of them. Okay, but I really want even coloring in your paintings. Okay, even coloring and not going over the, over the lines. I want a really neat work. Okay, so guys, I hope you understood a little bit what we're doing over here with warm and cool colors. You have your color wheel, use it to practice. You know that over here you have warm colors and which ones are cool colors. So please, guys, um, practice a lot. And until next week, I hope you have fun practicing and good luck for your test or your quiz for next week. Hugs and kisses for everybody. Bye-bye for now.